The women shouting are election monitors. They're furious that a man is walking out of the polling station with bags of uncounted votes. According to one of the candidates, this is just one of many election violations that helped rig the result here. Oleg Shane and over 20 of his supporters have been on hunger strike since the man who won that mayoral election took office 28 days ago. I've lost 10 out of 78 kilos. I have heart problems, but in general I'm in good spirits, so we can continue our struggle for freedom in the city and the return of fair elections. He won the vote in those polling stations with automatic counting machines, but lost where the ballots were counted by hand. In the following weeks, he appealed to the election committee to investigate, but got nowhere. Here, people tried to appeal to court, and they refused to even look at the lawsuits. One person complained that a polling station was moved and voters weren't told so they couldn't vote. But the court refused to investigate. By Tuesday, news of his hunger strike reached President-elect Vladimir Putin, who was asked in the Duma what he thought of their protest. He just said it was up to the courts. Your colleague, Oleg Sheen, he started a hunger strike but has not gone to the court as of yet. Frankly speaking, it's even kind of strange. Why bother going on a hunger strike? Maybe the court will deal with it and everybody will agree with the results of the proceedings. I think he should go to the court. His reaction prompted deputies from Shane's Just Russia party to walk out in protest. And some of those who took to the streets in Moscow to protest over alleged election fraud say they'll now join the hunger strikers in Astrakhan in support. Oleg Shane believes the election result was rigged here. He believes the mayor's seat was stolen from him. And it's taken his determination to overturn this result. And he says his commitment to die for this cause to really keep the protest movement alive, moving it from the streets of Moscow out into the regions. People from all over the country are turning up here in support of the hunger strikers, much to the annoyance of the local police. Shane is hoping for a huge rally this coming weekend. Every passing day this election result stands, Shane and his supporters get weaker and the protest movement in Astrakhan gains momentum. An investigation would silence this, but it may prompt similar desperate acts across the country. Sutert and Al Jazeera, Astrakhan, Southern Russia.